Hello everyone and welcome in today's video. I'm going to show you how to add parallax onto your DV designs. So let me just show you quickly the final result we're aiming to achieve. So as I scroll through this page, you can see here the bottom section is covering our main image because it is uh, stationary. So let me do it one more time. There we go. So this is what I'm going to be showing you how to create step by step. Now, before we get started, if you would like to design professional looking websites with Divi, because in this tutorial, I'll be using Divi to design this page. I have an affiliate link in the video description below. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. This course costs 497 and you'll get it absolutely free if you buy Divi using my link. It's in the video description below. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create this parallax design. All right, so the very first thing we're going to do is to start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. Now we can call a page whatever we want. So I'm just going to call this Mac test. Use the Divi Builder. Now this time to save us a lot of time, we are going to use a pre-made layout. So I'm just gonna come over here and browse the layouts. So we have several layouts here in the pre-made layout section. So I'm gonna go with the first one here, click on use this layout. Now we are not going to use the whole page because what I'm going to show you here is how to use the parallax. So now that our layout here has been uh, added onto our page, what we're going to do now is to delete the first part which is this uh, section here, because we don't need that one. Now let's add our own. So to do that, I'm just gonna click here on this plus button, click on regular for adding a regular section. We're gonna have a single column. And in this column, we are going to add a call to action and I'm gonna select it. Okay, so now we have our call to action. Uh, next, we are going to uh, make sure our button shows here. So to do that, we need to add a link to the button. So I'm gonna click here on button URL and add a blank link. So now you can see our button is now showing. So let's go ahead and stylize this a bit more. So I'm gonna come over here to my title first. Now my title here to stand out, it needs to be white because we're going to have a dark image in the background. Okay, so now that I have that, uh, now I can make this all caps and perhaps maybe even make the size a little bigger. So let's go with 42. And we also need to increase the size of our text here. So instead of having 14, let's just nudge it up to about, uh, let's say 18. We also need to add a bit of line height here. And now let's work on the button. So here I'm gonna click on this gear icon. And then I'm going to activate use custom styles for button. And let's give this button a color. So I'm gonna go with this color here. In fact, no, let's go with that for the text color. And then for the button background color, I'm gonna use this creamish color here. And I'm also going to add the same for the borders. So now you can see my color really stands out. But you know what? I'm not really sure about the text color. So let me add, I think this one works much better. I'm gonna go with this for my uh, text color. All right, so pretty much I'm done here. Uh, in fact, there's one final thing that we may want to do here on this call to action uh, module, and that is to adjust the size because the size here is a bit too wide. So I'm going to reduce the width here to about, uh, let's go with about 76%. Gonna center it. And then finally, we need to remove the background here. So I'm gonna click here on background, and then I'm gonna get rid of the background. Now I know right now we're not seeing anything. So now it's time to go into our section settings and add our background color. So I'm gonna click here. And in fact, you know what? We're not adding our background color. We need to add an image. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this plus button. Now I'm gonna add my image. So let me just look for an image that works with this. So I really want a dark image. In fact, we could use an image of this steak, but you know what? Let's go with, let's go with this one here. I'm gonna click upload an image. And in fact, you know what? Let's flip between that one and the stake and see which one looks better. Because for the white text to stand out, we're going to need a really dark image. So this one is not working that well either. So you know what? Let's try one more and see well, how that looks. So let's try this one here, the ribs. Nope, I don't think that works. So what we're gonna go with here is the image of the background of 
this restaurant. So I'm gonna click upload an image. And then there's a few things I need to do here. I need to add more padding to this. So I'm gonna click here on design. And then I'm gonna go to spacing. No, yeah, spacing. And I'm gonna add, let's go with 12 VW here. So I'm gonna add that both to the top and the bottom and I can always increase this as much as I want. So let's go with 16 and save this for now. So what I'm gonna do next is to drag this all the way up to the top because I want this to act as my main hero image. So now that it's right there at the top, the next stage now is to add our parallax. So over here as well, if you want to reduce this a little bit, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go back here over here to my settings and then I'm gonna click on background. So to activate your parallax, all you have to do is to come over here and say yes. So there's two types, there's true parallax and then there's CSS. So let's try the true parallax and see what that looks like. I'm gonna save this page, publish it and exit the visual builder. Okay, so this is our first style. So as I'm dragging, as I'm scrolling, you can see here the parallax is happening. But you know what? I'm not really a fan of this parallax here. You can see it's happening there, but it's jittery. And I don't really like that one. Now, let me show you my favorite one. So I'm going to go back over here to my uh, visual builder. And let's go into our section settings. So I'm going to go back over here to the top, click on background, and I'm going to change this to CSS. So you're going to notice that this style is going to be totally different. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save the page one more time. And then I am going to exit the visual builder. There we go. So now if I start scrolling, you notice what's happening now. So this is much better. So the bottom section here is covering what we have there on the top. And this could be a style that you may want to go with. Now over here, you can see our text does not really stand out on this dark background. So to fix that, let's go back in and uh, let's give this a transparent background. So I'm going to go into the text module itself because that's where we need to do this. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. And then I'm going to go to a background, use background color. Now, of course, I don't want to use that. So... Let's use a color that works here. So in fact, you can use this if you want to, but as you can see, it's a bit too much. So let's go in and add some transparency there. So I'm just gonna add a bit of transparency. And then let's go ahead and save. We're gonna save this one more time and exit the visual builder. So there we go. So now let's try out our parallax. And as you can see here, it is working really well. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.